Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced. Uh, the final DLC, Claptrap Revolution, yeah that, I always want to say hero mode for some reason. Last time we made it all the way here, fought many vic uh, fought many enemies and such and blah and... All that's left is the final boss. The boss of finality. The last boss standing. But All first, right. we got guns over here. We may as well see what we can get supplied with. Because all around this arena is chests. And if you stick to the sides, you can open every single chest up without triggering the final boss. Always root for more loot. There was actually one time I did not have this pestilent defiler defiler uh, revolver yet. So, as usual, I just came around and opened up everything and actually got the revolver out of one of these chests. Oh, hey, a final equalizer. Huh, eh, pretty good. Now, the defiler pistol actually just corrodes the nice shit out of whatever you shoot at it. It is incredibly overpowered for DOT. Always root for more lady garbage. Also, I don't think there's anything on top of the building this time. I can double check though. Yeah, nothing up here. Right, we got guns over here. No, nothing all that great this time. Hello, my friends. Hyperion asked me to transport you to even bigger, better planets once you are through dispatching that runny little shit. Exciting new worlds like Eden 6. This one time on Eden 6. <laughs> uh, if it took more than one shot, you weren't using it, Jacobs. Uh. You know, I wasn't programmed for direct combat. I also wasn't programmed to overuse air quotes, but obviously I've grown beyond my programming, beyond my enslavement, and beyond my patience for your kind. Prepare to face the fury of mega interplanetary ninja assassin Spectrum! Mean it! Built a giant claptrap tank. Well, uh, Meanak, shoot him in the big red eye. Ow! We are dead. I was not paying attention. 
Alright. What you really want to do, especially on playthrough 2, is run this way. You can run through here, hide in here. Nothing can hurt you right here. Also, if you, you can just basically sit here and leave the game on for hours, and he'll just keep spawning uh, Divine Wind Claptraps, and they'll just basically run up here, explode, collect the pieces. If I wasn't four levels over this guy, this would take forever. But you basically just want to shoot the pestilence to fire the, the, the defiler at its eye. Goodbye, that way when it throws its shield up the eye when you can't hit it, what basically happens is it slowly corrodes. Like that. So you basically just wait it out until it opens up its uh, eye shield again, then shoot it. Ow. That's it. No, 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 no! You'll never take your life! <laughs> Mark my word! I'll gut every last one of you with my bear clamp and wear your scalps as a jaunty flesh derby! Never give up, brothers and sisters! Fulfill your destiny of the revolution! Except the part about me getting stood up by that crazy bitch. I just made that up to keep the ladies hanging around. Hello, traveler! And that's the end! <gasps> well, for the most part. Unbelievable. Just outstanding. You've quashed the rebellion, saved Pandora, and restored the good name of the Hyperion Corporation. Unfortunately, you've also voided that Claptrap's warranty, so now you're stuck with him. However, there is still the matter of the reward you were promised. Come see me. Even Claptrap himself brought the wires, that's fine. Also, I love how the wired device is just a cathode ray tube TV on a stick. But yeah, on playthrough too, when uh, he matches your level or goes above your level, either way, you're basically uh, hiding in this hole and shooting at him when you can. Hiding when you can't. And if you're lucky enough to get the defiler gun, you just can slowly corrode him to death. If you don't get the defiler gun, you just basically use a shit ton of ammunition. It takes a uh, it takes more ammo and shit to kill. Just like the pestilent defiler, though, is like its weakness. It's great. You from our 
That being said, even four levels above me, Nack, I didn't really think I'd do that much damage that quickly. Also, since I died, he should have got his uh, health back. But uh, I'm guessing the uh, corrosion damage over time basically kept ticking away and it never went back up for him. Your opinion is important to us. We also get a free skill point. Carry on. Now we just need to collect our quote unquote payment. Which is gonna be nice since I died. Jackpot. Unforgiven. This will help. Now, in the original, except for this chest, everything was red. There wasn't no two silver silver ones over there. I don't know why they did Never that. Have enough stuff. Seems like a pointless change. All right, we got guns over here. Shredder and a volcano. <laughs> Mongol. Fearsome. Painful shotgun. Ooh, what do we have here? Desert Raven. Desert Raven is a uh, burst fire combat rifle. It shoots five instead of three. Incendiary contacts. Incendiary bouncing Bettys. Grounded Shield, Vitrolic Crux, Desert Shredder, a Combustion Hellfire. This is probably one of the most broken weapons in the game. bad we never got one during the game itself. But with that... Ready to take it to the next level? No more missions in this DLC! By the way, unlike the uh, Secret Army of General Knox, you can just turn off the game, come back in here, and just go straight back to all those chests. It is a decent way. It's like, in, in my opinion, what you want to do is after you beat the game the second time, do Jacob's Cove so you can. Uh, get access to all to the uh, wear skag fight so you can just basically max out your rel relics then come do this one in theory by the time you do the first uh, 
Jacob's Cove in this DLC, you should be maxed, or almost maxed. And you could just basically, um... Keep turning the game on and off and going through here and getting all the uh, chests and basically getting up some good equipment. Then go to the second uh, DLC. The, uh... What's it called? Uh, the, the, the... Shit. Secret Army of, Gen Armory of General Knox. Probably the best strategy you have right there. Would also pretty be pretty good to do before uh, Underdome on the second playthrough. If you're doing that as well. As for the actual DLC order, it was Jacob's Cove, Underdome, Secret Army of General Knox, and then this DLC. Go ahead and buy the bank upgrades I can. Throw those in there for later occasions. But no, that's gonna be it. That's the game. I don't know if I will be doing Borderlands 2 next or something else, but hey, we'll figure it out later. See you then!